Hey guys, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are gonna start working on page one. So on page one, I'm gonna feature this beautiful bunny. I think it's so cute. So there's one pattern in this collection I can't figure out what to do with. I also can't figure out what it is. Um, Julie and I differ. She thinks it's a horse, and kind of seems like it because it has long legs, but doesn't have a tail. So I think it's bear. So I'm not going to use that one. If I can't figure out what it is, I don't know if I want to put it in my collection. Now that looks like a bear. The ones I'm talking about um, look like pinatas. That's, that's how I would describe it. <laughs> it's kind of very round and bulbous. Anyways, that's enough about that. But we are working on page one. Page one is going to feature a large belly band. This belly band is three inches by nine inches, three by nine, and you're going to score half inch at uh, a half inch on one side and then eight and a half on the other, and that'll be our belly band that's going to go up and down on this first page. And I'm just going to put a tick mark here to center it. I'm using my Tim Holtz ruler, which for centering things is, is pretty nice. I mean, you know it's an eight by eight, so clearly it's a four is the center line, but you know, if you're not working with even numbers like eight, um, it makes it a lot easier to find. And that's because it has a zero center line, right? The center line at six is zero. So if I go four to four, zero is my center. So it's it's kind of nice to have. I like it. I use actually use it a lot more than I thought I would, quite frankly. And I think part of it is because it's transparent, which I don't think I'd ever have thought that a transparent um, I should have done this first ruler would be a good thing. But I, I like it. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna line this up so this is three inches so one and a half is my center point I'm gonna line up those two marks and lay this down then we'll come across and do the other side <clears throat> i've already taken the backing off so i'm going to try to make sure it doesn't fall on it's on the page before i'm ready and usually all you do is you find it on one side and then it's just best to lay it down smoothly so you don't have any buckles um even if it's not white perfectly centered there you go it also keeps uh, the space between the base page and the belly band a little bit tighter um, but if you try to focus on exactly lining it up you wind up with a buckle and that just means things are going to fall out okay so this is from the patterns of solids this is from the collection pack and it is from the eight by eight which i haven't used a lot of yet <clears throat> it's getting dark it's hard to see between getting old and dark <laughs> i miss the long days okay so there's my belly band this is what's going to go underneath and i've already trimmed it down and inked it and so <clears throat> what i like to do is Start by putting glue down on half, slide it in, and it's much easier to slide it in if there's no glue on this side, and then just peel back a little bit uh, to glue down those edges. So I'm going to go from about the halfway point, and then I'll pick up this side after the top side's installed. <laughs> So if you do it the other way where you install this first and then add this belly band, then you've got those little, which you'll see me struggle with, those pesky little edges <laughs> from your hinges that you got to fight. And it's okay to fight at one time when you're putting in your designer paper, but not every time you're pulling in or out your insert. So that, ladies, is why I do it that way. 
and I'm sure I've said it a thousand times. I'm, I apologize for being dull to everyone who's heard it. And you're welcome to everybody who's new. <laughs> so whenever possible, if I've got something that's going underneath something like the, the belly band, or if it's going inside of something like a pocket, I like to leave my leading edge, in this case it would have been this one, without glue so I can tuck it, try it, move it around, adjust it without it trying to take hold or leave a trail of glue behind it. Okay, we're gonna have a nice big insert here. It is going to be seven by seven, which is gonna leave us with a half inch beautiful border all the way around because this is eight by eight and this is seven by seven. It's, it's like a frame in a frame. So let's, uh, let's figure out what this paper is going to be. Be right back. Hey everyone. I picked up my pattern for the insert. Cute, cute little bunnies. Okay, so let's look at our goodies and see if there's something to embellish the center belly band with. And I think I see what I want to use already. So I think I want to use that. Yes, I like that. I didn't mean to drop that. I was trying to decide where I wanted to put it. I don't want to center it because this is centered. So I'm going to off center this. Oh, I hate that I did that. Pretty much um, this glue disappears on a pattern, but you can still see it under a solid. And that's unfortunate because I can see it. <laughs> but there we go. So that is that. We're done with this page. Yay. Back soon.